Look at that. Look at that. Little desk boy. Ooh, look at that floppy ear. Ooh. Ooh. So tired. Rudy. <laughs> so tired. Oh, man. So, uh, next Thursday, I gotta get this damn cyst cut out of my back. Uh, and for two weeks after that, I can't climb. Gotta let the incision heal. But I'm pretty excited about taking some rest, man, because I've been really pounding the training lately. Like, man, I'm doing something every day, sometimes multiple times per day to, you know, work towards those goals of mine. Which you're basically, you know, just climb harder, climb better, get stronger hands, etc. I think what I'll do before that break is just do like a strength test, you know? I've been using mostly overcoming isometrics and statics to, you know, just work on like lock-off strength as well as straight arm or relatively straight arm strength. Now I'm starting to train it in this angle, right? But same thing. I've been using these two here. This one, this one, a little cylinder, and these. Okay. No extra weight, not even really any movement, micro movements, but not any like, you know, dynamic movements like pull ups or rows or anything. Literally just pulling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like as hard as I can for 10, 15 seconds, not really timing it, just kind of like feeling it out. Uh, and I feel strong, dude. I mean, I feel overworked <laughs> for sure, but I do feel strong. And I'm thinking probably Wednesday morning or something. We'll see. I'll just break out the weight vest, which is somewhere around here, whatever. And I'll see what I can do, you know what I mean, with these tools. We'll see if the overcoming isometrics and statics have actually increased my strength. Now, I think, I'm not sure about this one. I haven't used this in a while with weights, so I'm not really sure how I could compare that to, like, you know, progress in the past. <clears throat> but I do have statistics on doing L-sit pull-ups on these. I was able to do four reps of 30 before I got into this, like, statics-only program. And on these, uh, I think I did, I want to say, like, a seven-second lock-off with 15 pounds on a weight vest. So not much. No, I think it was 20 pounds, actually. But either way, I'm thinking I can probably blow those numbers out of the water. Because these overcoming isometrics, man, they, I feel, I'm telling you, I feel so strong from doing those. I can really tell the difference when I'm, like, climbing and stuff. I have a little fatigue, you know, some days, and I can't climb too hard. But on the days I do feel good, I'm freaking flying up the wall. And I'm holding on to stuff I couldn't even imagine holding on months ago. So we'll see what's up. That's a lot of talk, you know, a lot of bullshitting. <laughs> But, uh, we'll see Wednesday, man. I think it might be strong. I'll either be a lot stronger, or I'll be too overtrained to even test myself. <laughs> so we'll see what's up. Either way, I'm going to give it a shot. I can just try to, like, you know, wreck myself as much as possible without actually wrecking or injuring myself before I take those two weeks off to uh, recover and supercompensate. And I think when I come back, I'll be even stronger, dude. I think that rest will do me good. Anyway, that's about it, y'all. Uh, keep grinding out there. Take it easy.